Now, is Robert Zeidman, the man who won the lawsuit and is now owed $5 million by Mike Lindell, good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. Yeah, Dan, thanks for having me. So do you now begin the process of trying to collect? Well, my lawyers are doing that. I'm a little more optimistic than I was back in April, just because we have a federal judge who says he owes it to me and denied his appeal. But as you mentioned, Lindell claims, sometimes he claims he has no money, sometimes he claims he has plenty of money. Uh, you know, that's the way Lindell is. But do you expect you're going to actually see the money now? I mean, now that you've actually won in federal court? My, my hopes are a little higher than they were before, but still kind of low, because I really think he is running out of money. And I think that uh, the, the Dominion and Smartmatic lawsuits against him are probably going to succeed. It's for over $2 billion. So I'm just hoping if I get my money, I get in there before they do. Right, right, right. All right, so in the simplest terms, if you can, explain to us how you were able to debunk his theory. Yeah, so I went there. So I, I do this for a living. And I You're the wrong people, guy, basically. Right, Lindell, right. When, he made, when he issued the challenge, he wasn't expecting Zeidman to step up. Well, if you listen to him, he actually says I was unqualified and he shouldn't have invited me in the first place. <laughs> but I do this for a living. And, uh, you know, I told friends of mine that, look, it would take months to go through this. A team of people do it, going through it for months. So I didn't have any expectation. But when I got the data, I looked at it. And partly because I've been doing this for such a long time, I recognized patterns. And I found that some of the data was just word processor documents where it looked like somebody had typed random characters over thousands of pages. But then they did this conversion process to make it look like ones and zeros. But I was able so to... So it was all it gibberish? Was. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, there was one file that was a gigantic file that, that turned into, if you went through this process, it turned into a spreadsheet. And that spreadsheet, they gave us the spreadsheet. And the spreadsheet... They claim that having the words Trump and Biden in the spreadsheet made it related to the election, therefore I lost. But I convinced the arbitrators and the federal judge that uh, just having the terms Trump and Biden, it wouldn't have been a contest. In fact, it would have been an illegal contest in Minnesota because uh, obviously no reasonable person would think that that made it related to the election. When you initially did this, you were a Trump supporter who was looking at this because you wanted to be a piece of history? Well, I thought either the election would be overturned or someone would show this to be fake, but I didn't think it would be me. <laughs> either way, I thought history would be made. Yeah. Let me play. This is Lindell at the symposium where he made the challenge talking to CNN, no friend to Mike Lindell, um, uh, about his data. Let's listen. But if, if your stuff is legit, if the data is legit, wouldn't it be better for you to hand it over to as many cyber experts as possible? You know what? I'll give you the answer. Because I've been told that they can go out there and corrupt it and make fake stuff and put fake news out. So I don't need your people to go out and doctor the evidence and put out on <laughs> Mike Lindell's a conspiracy theory. But you have been saying for months, media, experts, everybody no. come, see the data. We're showing it right on screen right now. So you can't sit here and do a hit piece when it's on screen right now. What was the stuff on the screen? Was that the stuff you saw? Yeah, well, no, not exactly. The screen was more like a production from The Matrix. I mean, all of us experts, and, and by the way, almost everybody there was a Trump supporter. And we're all looking at it and saying, this is ridiculous. It, it, it looks like a, just somebody animated some ones and zeros. Obviously, that's not proof of anything. Yeah. But what he gave us were these gigantic files. And I thought originally, well, I'm not going to have enough time to go through them. But then again, finding this transformation, which I almost stumbled upon, uh, I could see where the data came from. And that said, that showed me that it wasn't part of the election. All right. Well, Bob Zeidman, good luck uh, getting your judgment. Could be a long, hey. a long road. I think so. Thanks for coming on. Appreciate it. Thank you, Dan. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.